This is Vince with Bulldog Rooter on job number 34562596. This is an upload video. We got called out for a pre-purchase sewer inspection. Um, we located the clean out in the basement and ran our camera from there. Unfortunately, due to the number of fittings in the line, I can't feed past 33 and a half feet from the clean out. Um, there's still a lot of line left to inspect, but without a clean out downstream, I can't get equipment past the pipe. Um, modern code requires a clean out every 135 degrees worth of turn, and there's actually 135 degrees worth of turn in the first 15 feet of the pipe, and then there's two Ys after that. We know that this pipe exits the back of the house and then turns 180 degrees to connect to the street. Um, it is Orangeburg from 1952 and what I can see is pretty rough. As you can see we have the camera stopped there. I'll draw back from that point that I can't feed past. So right here you see it holding water. There's definitely a channel worn through this Orangeburg. You can see right there is a real good image of it. It's a, a fiber pipe and after decades of water running through it, it kind of just carves out a channel at the bottom. There's a pretty bad blister right there. Right there too, you can see the channel rot is there's basically no pipe there at the bottom. You can see the edge of where the pipe used to be. The bottom of the pipe from this perspective is the top right hand corner of the screen. So right here is cast iron pipe and there's similar channel rot there. Um, the iron pipe's actually gone as you can see. It's just earth now that the waste is moving through. So there's one of those Ys. The original plumber set a cast iron Y outside for a clean out, but it's 16 inches deep below a concrete slab. So there's real bad channel rot there as you can see. There's another change in direction. Another one there. So we transitioned to ABS, which is running through the basement. The waistline in the house was repiped somewhat recently. There's a tie-in right there. This is three inch ABS. And you can just see the amount of fittings in this line. So that right there is the water treatment discharge hose that is stubbed into the line. There's also a condensate line. It's stubbed into a Y and then it's siliconed around. That's how they handle the drainage for the water softener. So we're pulling out of the clean out Y right now. And you can see we're sitting right next to the CPVC pipe. So I had to be real careful in trying to feed this down. Um, I wasn't able to feed further than that 34 feet, but what I do see is in rough condition. This concludes the video inspection. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.